this is Tony Swinehart with MCP's Full Court Press, brought to you by House and Flavors Incorporated. Today we are out at the racetrack at Ray Comstock's house. Actually, this is something that he built. So I just tried my hand at this and it's really not as easy as it looks. <laughs> so Ray, what uh, inspired you to build this track? And, and this is your property out here. So what, what got you into racing to start with? Well, I've been racing these little cars for many years. Okay. And I got out of it for a while and then I got back into it since they got new batteries and everything and they just last a lot longer. Okay. And, but there's no tracks around the area so right. I decided to build a track. So there's different types of races too, right? Yep, there's all so, different classes. There's okay. the Mud Boss. 12T, which is a stock Mud Boss class, just a stock tracks a slash with the Mud Boss body. Okay. And then it just progresses from there. There's there's uh, street stock, there's modified, there's late model, there's sprint cars, there's four-wheel drive open classes. Okay. And, you know, it just progresses from there. But as of right now, we're just pretty much mods and mud boss and we're building some late models and sprint cars and seeing how far it progresses. When do you have races and how how often do you have quite a few people that are into it and come out We've then? got quite a few people so far. We've got a lot of neighbors. I mean right now it's a real busy time of the summer so right. a lot of people are busy but right. we're racing, practicing and racing on Wednesdays at okay. 6 o'clock p.m. Okay. And then we open the gates up at uh, at uh, nine or ten o'clock on Sunday, and we race okay. all day on Sunday. Oh wow! So is so I'm assuming this is the start line then, yep, right? Yep, right that's here. the start line. There's okay. A, there's a, a cable buried down there, okay. so there's a timing system. So every time a car goes over that line, it counts a lap. Okay. And it gives the time that how fast you made a lap. And that's another thing too. We're always trying to break that record. We got fast right. lap records and okay. always trying to break that fast lap record. It seems to be a little expensive to some, but right. really it's not. You know, you're probably looking to spend about $500 to get involved. Right. And that's deep, you know, with batteries, chargers, some tools and whatnot. With the car yeah. and the body. but. You know, to go dirt biking or quadding, I mean, you're looking at that 10 thousand, grand. Yes, exactly. You know? And this is something, too, that, like, I would think that anybody of all ages can do. Yep. Like, from younger kids to, yes, in, like, in the you professional know. racing and RCs, there's 12-year-olds out there doing it. But now, and then you also have the track that has, um, and this is the crawler track. This is the crawler course. A start course. of the crawler course. We're okay. planning on progressing with that. We just build every every chance we get. We work on that and we okay. try to build some more. Okay. And that's not the like the race cars though. That's nope. more of the four wheels. It's a four wheel drive class. Okay. A lot of the crawlers. It's a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. It's better for somebody who doesn't have fast reaction time. <laughs> like me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and mm -hmm. that's actually competition too. Eventually we're going to try to get into a crawler competition. There's a point system, so every time you have to back up you lose some points, or if you tip over you lose, lose points. points. Okay. If you have to winch out you lose points. We just got involved a little bit with the drag racing with uh, the Vladington Hobbies. They've been doing a little drag racing, so okay. we're trying to get involved in that a little bit. But this is it's more my passion right here, the circle track. Yeah. The dirt and, and the crawler stuff. Okay, so when you built this, I, you know, it's at a slope, yep. obviously, um, and he was watering it down. Now, do you have to water it down every day? Uh, we keep it covered. Okay. We always keep it covered because a covered track's a happy track. It's clay. Right. We okay. uh, form the track, and then we put clay on top, so the clay is only four or five inches thick all the way around, which gives it a really good hard surface for uh, running on. Okay. And you can see over on the other side of the track where it's drying out, because that's yes. where the sun beats on it all the time. Gotcha. And when it starts to dry out, it gets really slippery. So we like to, you know, wet it down. It keeps yes. keeps a little moisture in the in the clay itself and helps okay. with the traction. 
Right. Okay. And like on our Wednesday night run, we start at six o'clock. There's no sun, so the track actually progressively gets better. You get a it's lot a more traction, okay. and and you can actually start getting some really fast laps. As you can mm -hmm. see on the clay, if you look on the clay, it it, it almost turns into pavement. Yes. The yes. Uh, rubber starts to stick to the clay and basically almost seems like it's asphalt. Well, this is really, really awesome. How long did it take you to build the track and, it, and cost? Like about we, how much? We started building this track and I guess, I'm going to guess that we have probably three months involved in it, but okay. that is some three really hard, sweaty, hard-working months. Yes. And as far as the cost goes, I tried to, you know, cut cost as much as I could. I, I went ahead and bought some wood that was on sale in mm -hmm. the bargain center, some bent, crooked wood, whatever, some used wood. We tried to recycle. I got, I'm a carpenter and, and my buddy's a carpenter, so we pick up on some recycled stuff and we, we built this stand for probably, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred bucks, you know? Not, oh, not counting sense. our time. We got a lot of time into it. Right. And I'm, I'm going to have to say we probably got six, probably six, six or seven thousand dollars wrapped up in everything. Okay. Like including the lights. The lights and, and yep. Yeah. And just slowly building. And like, and I mm -hmm. also see that the numbers here. Yes. Are, are those for like the lanes? Is that like? The numbers are for, we have a bucket and we hang a bucket up. Okay. And so when we're getting ready to do a race, Every driver has to go over and pick a number out of the bucket. Okay. And that gives him a position on the deck. Okay. okay. So that way somebody doesn't have their favorite spot every time. I gotcha. Because it's, it's. We got to keep yeah. people from fighting over a spot. Yes. So people they will. pick a number <laughs> and that's where they go stand. Okay. So there's, there's uh, nine spots to stand. Okay. Most of the time we don't run nine cars at the same time, unless it's like a feature or something. Right. So if we're running four car heats, everybody picks a number, you come up and you get your number. Well, once you get your number and you get your spot, then you can move around on the deck wherever right. you gotta be. You don't have right. to be on a step or anything. I gotta thank Ludington uh, Hobbies for all their help with all their cars and, and parts and stuff to keep us going out here. Yeah. They're, they've been real helpful and they're really nice uh, people and I think that everybody should go down and pay a visit to Ludington Hobbies because it's yes. a great store. Now where is that located at? They've, they're down on James Street right downtown Ludington. Yep, okay. And for more news go to MasonCountyPress.com.